Hey y'all, Ram Dino here, coming at you from sunny North Carolina. Well, it's time again for our weekly update for February 9th of the 2019 Appalachian Trail Through Hiker class. It's been a great week. This has been a wonderful week in North Carolina where I'm at. Just been great weather. Uh, temperatures dropped a little bit here over the past couple days, but uh, this weather ought to just be great for the uh, through hikers that are, are starting the trail and are already on the trail. And uh, so we'll take a look and see what the weather changes are going to be coming up uh, here shortly. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about my hiking videos and my gear reviews and just my adventures on the Appalachian Trail. But it's also about the building community uh, for the Appalachian Trail through hikers, particularly the class of 2019 this year. And just building that hiker community, not only amongst through hikers, but also section hikers and people that don't even hike. Uh, people that just uh, are interested in it and uh, have a passion about it and looking forward and uh, hopefully you'll become interested in it by looking at my channel. So we're trying to build not only hiker community but we're also trying to build support for the through hikers of 2019 and the best way that you can do that is go down there and hit subscribe hit that bell so you get the weekly updates and you can also subscribe by hitting the end notes at the end of this channel hitting me right square in the face and that'll subscribe you and then you can go over to my facebook page where we have the complete list that we've compiled of all of the through hikers thus far that have gotten in touch with us and, and want to be a part of our channel and a part of this community you go there find the complete list and at the description section uh, at the end of this video you'll also find the new hikers that we've picked up this week uh, so I encourage you to do that and then once you go and subscribe to the through hiker channels or their blogs or vlogs then uh, then go and leave a comment on their videos and let them know that you're supporting them and and looking out for them all the way to Katahdin so uh, uh, that would be uh, that would be just great for them. They appreciate that. They they greatly enjoy people making comments, and it's just all about building this community. I've got some personal videos coming up, some uh, some gear tips and tricks, and then I've also got uh, coming up on February the weekend of February 22nd. I'll be taking a trip on the Appalachian Trail in the southern section, and hopefully I'll run into some through hikers down there. Maybe do a few interviews, and uh, if they allow, and I'll post those as well but I'm looking forward to getting back out on the trail uh, it's been too long since I've been out there I had to put off some hiking due to rib injury but that is I'm back to 100% so I'm raring to go stick around to the end of the channel you'll hear some cool happenings that are going on with this channel and also I just want to thank all those that have reached out to me and commented and just told me that uh, they appreciate what I'm doing uh, and, and give me an attaboy everybody likes an attaboy and, and I appreciate that and I, I'd like for you to take that energy and go over to the Through Hiker channels and, uh, and do the same thing for them. Tell them that, uh, give them an attaboy and tell them that you're, uh, you're thinking about them and you're enjoying what they're doing and, and enjoy living the trail through their videos. Well, we are definitely approaching hiker season now. Actually, we're already right there in the middle of it. So I'll go ahead and give you the update. The current registrations for Nobo are 1,612. That's up last week from... 1,495, that's a pretty good jump. Uh, flip floppers, we had last week we had 71, this week we have 75. And Sobo last week we had 69, and this week we we're up to 73. So last week we were over 1,600, somewhere around that mark for uh, complete registered hikers, and now we're over 1,760. One of the interesting facts that I found out is that if you recall from last time, we were actually behind people on the trail. Uh, by behind, I mean there was more people registered than there was people on the trail. Uh, and so we attributed that to either people dropping off and actually not doing their hike, uh, or uh, people just uh, you know, not, not showing up for, or starting late. So I've been in touch with Amicola Falls, and as of this morning, we're up to 88. So we've had 88 hikers start their through hikes uh, since the season began and that has completely changed the slope of where we were on registered versus on the trail because at this point we've got 84 people registered that were pre-registered through the website and now we are up to 88 that have actually picked up their tags and started from Amicalola so uh, hopefully that trend will continue and that slope will that's reversed and will, will continue to uh, just go up and up. As we noted before, the trails maxed out on March 1st, and we were up to 60 hikers on March 1st. And April 1st, we were up to 53 hikers. So the ATC maxes the trail out at 50, even though they keep taking registrations for that. 
Uh, but uh, uh, 60 hikers is a lot of people to be at Hawk Mountain Shelter in one time. That place is going to look like some type of internment camp there. Uh, so uh, uh, it'd be very interesting. I'm, I'm half tempted to, to go up there and just uh, take pictures and just look at uh, all the people around here. And it may be a little chaotic. I don't know that there's 60 spots there, particularly the Hawk Mountain Shelter. Now, there's a Hawk Mountain Campground that's nearby that can take that overflow, but you get to the Hawk Mountain Campground first before you get to Hawk Mountain Shelter. It's about, I don't know, somewhere around a mile or so away bef before you get to the Hawk Mountain Shelter. So if you're getting late into camp, say after 3 o'clock, you might want to go ahead and stay at the camp Hawk Mountain Campground rather than the Hawk Mountain Shelter because Hawk Mountain Shelter and the sites around there will surely be full, be full. The shelter itself holds less than a dozen people. Some news about the government shutdown. Of course, right now the government's functioning uh, as normal as a government like we have can possibly function. However, uh, I did talk to Tom Lamb. He's a trail supervisor with the Georgia Appalachian Trail Club, and he said that they were uh, authorized to go back to work on Monday morning after the shutdown. And between Monday, January 28th, and January 3rd, they had cleared 66 trees with one to go. So kudos to you, uh, Tom Lamb and the Appalachian uh, Trail Club in, down in Georgia. Appreciate all the hard work you do. He also said that if we have another government shutdown, which is looming in, I think, less than a week now, that maintenance will stop once again. So not only will whatever blowdowns occur not be uh, cleared, but they won't be able to work on the trail itself, such as putting in water bars or taking care of erosion or painting blazes or any of that. So uh, hopefully uh, the politicians will get their ducks in a row and we won't have any more shutdowns and we'll just keep rolling right along and these uh, trail can be maintained. And the reason they can't is because they get their uh, insurance through the federal government. So any trail, any portion of the trail that runs through the federal government property, that be it federal government parks, forest lands, anything like that, uh, they cannot work on that area because the insurance is carried by the government, uh, liability insurance and injury insurance for them. So, for instance, down in Georgia, the only place that they can work is Amicalola State Park because the rest of the trail is all on federal lands. So, hopefully we won't have a shutdown and the uh, trail maintainers can get out there and get some momentum and uh, get those things taken care of. Had a couple folks uh, ask me if I had any knowledge about the uh, the problem with the ATC through hiker tags, the the bag tags that they, they hang on the outside of their backpack. Uh, they ran out of them, ran out of them down in Amicola Falls. Uh, apparently, they underestimated how many people would be starting, and so they were actually having to give out 2018 uh, tags. And so when I contacted the ATC in uh, Harper's Ferry, uh, they um, they referred me to the ATC in the Asheville office. I contacted them and asked them what folks need to do. And uh, I'm not going to name any names because I don't want to throw anybody under the, under the bus. But what I was told is they can just be patient until I get down there tomorrow and then I'll have the tags with me. So uh, not necessarily the answer I was looking for, but however, I have confirmed today with the Amicola Falls State Park that they do have the tags and they do have the 2019s and they do have enough uh, to get them through the season. So if uh, you were one of the unfortunate few that got a 2018 tag and you're on the trail, you can trade that out with uh, one of the Ridge Runners who will have a limited number of tags, or you can trade it out when you get to Harper's Ferry and they'll have 2019 tags for you as well. Uh, so I know Artemis uh, wound up and so did uh, uh, another hiker wound up with um, a 2018 tag. Uh, Artemis starts tomorrow, so Artemis, if you get this video before then, you can probably go on over to the state park and grab that 2019 tag, so you'll carry that all the way to Katahdin with you. So the new vloggers we have in the community, we're not having as many now as we were. We expected that uh, to drop off somewhat to the closer we got to when time starts and when the hiker bubble starts. Um, and of course, we'll, we'll keep adding people as long as people contact me and let me know they want to be added to our list. Uh, we may pick up a few more Sobo uh, and, and Nobo and Flip Floppers, but you know, Sobo season starts a little later. Um, so, but we'll keep adding people as we go. Some have contacted me and told me that they're going, but right now they don't have any content on any social media. And so we'll wait till they get some type of content up, even if it's just a single post to a blog or a single 
uh, intro video on YouTube. We'll be sure and post you. So let me know if you've contacted me. And we want to make sure that we include you in in the videos and include you in our support, include you in the community because we want to support you as well. But we can't do it without some type of uh, social media means out there for us to comment and uh, and help you out um, and just keep you spurred on all the way to, to the Katahdin. So the new uh, hikers, new vloggers we've added this week are Bill Baker. He's uh, Nobo the last week in February, hiking with finger toes. He's Nobo March 1st. Patrick Noonan uh, or Pangea Hikes, he's from Dublin, Ireland. And uh, I know that's a terrible Irish accent. But in any case, he's coming there. I don't have a date for him, so hopefully he'll update that. Uh, Jacqueline Jackman or Peacock, or, all, or her trail name is also Jaybird, is Nobo the 17th of March. And Gene Ward is Sobo in June. So current and new vloggers and bloggers, please go to my Facebook page. Uh, and look down in the description for the new bloggers and bloggers and make sure that I've got your proper links and your proper dates if you want to share those dates with you. That was going to become relevant here in just a minute. I'll tell you about that. But we want to make sure that as you step off the trail that we can indeed support you. Picked up a couple new Instagrammers or, or actually updated some folks that already had their YouTube channels that now have Instagram accounts. JFF's Journey, otherwise known as Flat, uh, Flatlander, their... Uh, Instagram account is Cat Daddy Jap, and Bill Baker is Bill Bazinga uh, on Instagram. And Patrick Noonan from Pangea Hikes uh, is also YouTube, but he also has uh, the Instagram account. If I've left off anybody, I sincerely apologize for that. Please let me know, and I'll make sure that I get you on there. If you have to ask me more than once, I apologize. Uh, I am tracking a lot of over 100 bloggers and bloggers, and so sometimes the matrix uh, and, and what my mind has to do there gets in my way. And also, like we talked about before, the channel will begin transitioning more to uh, keeping up with where the through hikers are as opposed to adding more people, but we will continue to add more people uh, as uh, people uh, get in touch with me and, and let me know. The weather report for this week is uh, not going to be near as good a week this upcoming week as it was last week. So I've kind of broke the weather report down into uh, the two different groups, those on the leading edge and those that are starting uh, down in Georgia. So for those that are somewhere around the Smokies uh, or maybe slightly north of there, slightly south of there, um, that's what I've been calling the leading edge and in the smoke is the lows tonight are going to be right around freezing so maybe a little below freezing uh, during the day you've got a 60% chance tomorrow of rain uh, temps are going to be in the mid 40s uh, but it's going to be windy so you're going to have to deal with some wind chill uh, Sunday night rain is going to be up around 70% and the low is going to be around 40 and you're going to have up to a tenth to a quarter inch of rain uh, Monday and Tuesday, it looks again like rain with temps in the low 40s. Uh, and temps at night, again, are going to be right below freezing, somewhere around 28 to 30. And then the only day really next week that looks like it's going to be rain-free up to the weekend uh, is going to be Wednesday. So um, just expect that coming up and uh, make sure you got your rain gear. And at night, make sure you've got what you need to keep warm. For you folks that are starting, your rain chances are going to be about the same. Really, the only difference you're going to have uh, between them is that your temperature is going to be about 10 degrees warmer. Uh, so even you know 10 degrees above 32 is 42. Uh, so that's still pretty chilly, uh, particularly at night. But uh, that's that's better than being at freezing and possibly uh, what you've got freezing. So. Uh, those folks that are going to have freezing temperatures, make sure you're uh, sleeping with your phones and your batteries and your uh, saw your squeeze if you're carrying one and uh, possibly even your shoes to keep everything from freezing. You saw your squeeze, it will uh, it will not work or it will not function properly if you let it uh, if you let it freeze. And of course, your batteries are just run down on your phone and your power pack, so you may wind up sleeping with all that. Couple updates for uh, some uh, some hikers out there. D uh, Dirty Laundry, uh, they have a veteran amongst them, and that is Old McStudley. And I want to make a correction for Seraphin Hikes. I had listed her as uh, Nobo, uh, but actually they are Sobo flip flopping. Another really interesting update is uh, with Hiking with Era. She is selling T-shirts uh, that say the Appalachian Trail Class of 2019. 
So uh, that's pretty cool. She's doing that to not only raise uh, money for, uh, for her hike, but she's also doing it because she's going to give back a portion of that to the Appalachian Trail community. So kudos goes out to Hiking with Arrow. Uh, I'll leave a link to her website uh, down in the description section. And uh, if you know somebody that would like a T-shirt like that, or maybe you want to send it to a through hiker that you know uh, in some type of uh, package or, or anything like that, uh, or just buy it for yourself, then uh, go and do that and support Hiking with Air. Uh, I think that's a great way to build community and just a good way to help each other out. Station 19 over at Roan Mountain has contacted me and told me that only one hiker has come through so far to claim one of the, the trail angel mag or trail magic that people can do through uh, their website. And uh, as we talked about in previous video, that uh, you can buy a hiker a beer. They call that pour it forward. You can buy a meal. You can even buy a bunk space for a hiker. Well, only one hiker has claimed anything yet, and they said that they have got plenty of stuff out there that people have done uh, from home. So don't let up. C keep offering that trail magic. Uh, through through that you can that's a very convenient way to do it if you can't get close to the trail is do it through station 19e uh, but also you through hikers coming through get over there and claim those uh, freebies and uh, and people that have uh, bought those for you because uh, they mean it and they want to support you interesting from sarah hike she is creating a channel uh, a companion channel to what her hike is now and that is she is going to be uh, putting out videos, uh, instructional videos for elementary school students about hiking the Appalachian Trail. So basically she is going to be teaching the next generation of hikers coming up about the trail. And, and you know, I, I think that's great because that's what we need. We need uh, our generation, generations before us and uh, generations after us. We all need to work together to build this hiker community because the hiker community is probably one of the biggest communities for environmental reasons so you know we want to make sure that uh, that the trail is out there that the environment is out there that the that the earth is out there uh, for the next uh, generations that are coming up and the only way to do that is to raise awareness and to teach them about it because if we don't teach them about it who will so thanks a lot for that sarah go over and check that out if you know some teachers or something like that my wife's a third grade teacher mrs ramdino is and uh I'm going to send those uh, videos to her, and so she may be able to use some of those in her class. She's already using some of my videos in her class. And when I go to see her, I always stop by and talk to her class, and uh, they get a big kick out of talking to Ramdino so, uh, because they've seen me on YouTube. So that's pretty neat, and uh, we do have an influence on the next generation, and, and thanks for being a positive influence on that, Sarah. Stuart Malone is a uh, subscriber. And uh, he wanted me to ask folks that, uh, that, have, uh, that are hiking, uh, if they have a spouse or something that has made a video, if they could pass that along to him, or if their spouse would, would make a video, and a video about you know, how the spouse keeps things going while the other spouse is hiking on the trail, or the other significant other, not necessarily a spouse, how they keep stuff going back on the, front, uh, on the home front, how they support their hiker while they're out there on the trail. And so uh, I think that's a, that's a good idea. So you folks out there, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, but, uh, but have your significant others uh, go on, make us a YouTube channel, and we can share with each other. I know that there are probably plenty of other folks out there that are not hiking that are interested in knowing that and passing that along uh, to the people that are supporting them back home so that they know what to expect. Station 19E also wanted me to let you know that on... The fourth weekend in March in the town of Rome Mountain, it is Hiker Palooza Festival. Uh, so uh, a lot of these towns, uh, these uh, trail towns along the way, such as Hot Springs, Damascus, all these have uh, uh, festivals, and that's when the one is up at Rome Mountain. Uh, so make plans to go up there, if you're, or if you're in the area, maybe make a day trip up there. There's plenty of portions of the Appalachian Trail you could hike on, and plenty of places up there where you could do some trail magic. Uh, so plan to do that on the fourth weekend in May. We had a lot of videos that people put out this week. Uh, no way I'm going to be able to cover them all. A lot of them were gear videos of the Luxury Challenge uh, that David B Dan Becker put together. So we appreciate that building the community that you did there, Dan. And those have been great videos to watch. I'll just name a few here. We had a, a couple intros. Uh, Walking, Nowhere, Walking Nowhere made his uh, intro video. Hiking with Air had a video of why she's hiking the Appalachian Trail. 
uh, Ginga Ninja gave us his big three uh, gear videos or me and AT and he's testing his hammock in the rain. Pangea Hikes had a gear video, pork chop and applesauce did too, as well as Eastern Backpacking and Bearded Sor Servant gave us his, his gear change from his 2018 attempt and also a little discussion about his faith. So that was very interesting. Enjoyed listening to that, Bearded Servant, and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing what the Lord has for you on your trip this year. Uh, Mike Bowman, he put out a gear video. Uh, hiking Sailor, he was real busy. He put out several uh, social media, did, a, did videos on YouTube as well as an Instagram post on an ultralight tripod that he purchased through an affiliate link of my channel on my luxury gear video. So if you don't know what affiliate links are, affiliate links are that, uh, that a uh, vlogger can post in the description section a link to an Amazon product uh, and then a person can click on that link and purchase that uh, item that they've got in the link and the uh, Amazon affiliate will get a small percentage of that, very, very small percentage, but, uh, you know, everything builds up with, uh, with volume, and, uh, but they'll get a small percentage of that. Uh, typically, they get it uh, mainly just as a credit to Amazon so that they can buy more gear, although Amazon will write you a check as well. So I want to thank um, Hiking Sailor, and he also indicated Quicksand bought that tripod. So I appreciate that uh, for you doing that. And, uh, and if, uh, if anybody else is interested in that, I'll be posting, uh, along with some, more, some of my other gear videos, have those affiliate links in them. And uh, even if you don't purchase the item that is in that link, if you purchase anything within 24 hours on Amazon, doesn't have to be the item that, that I've listed, it could be anything, uh, then I will get a portion of that as well. So that's one way you can help uh, folks uh, maintain their channels and, and support them. A couple other videos we had. We had uh, Indy Jimmy Jam did uh, food, uh, what he's going to be eating on the trail. Had some shakedowns from Randy Norton, a.k.a. Abba Bear, and JFF's Journey all gave us her shakedown. Act All Later gave us his, her clothing that she was going to be wearing. Uh, a couple miscellaneous. Sarah Hikes, again, uh, uh, gave us her children's teaching video. Uh, it's Who We Are gave us the, their thoughts on, uh, on leaving and getting ready for the trail. Their hike's coming up soon. Katodner Bus gave us a really interesting one on finances on the trail. We don't, you know, we get a lot of gear videos and stuff, and those are great, but we don't get a lot of stuff that, uh, about what takes place outside of the actual hike itself, like, uh, you know, what kind of finances you need to have, not only on the trail, but going on while you're away, because your bills keep coming in while you're away, so there's got to be some way for them to get paid. Uh, you know, um, insurance, what do you do about uh, medical insurance while you're away? Uh, so that was pretty interesting, Katodner Bust, and uh, we appreciate that. By no means, um, those are all the videos. I encourage you to go to the uh, list and go to those folks you're subscribed to and look up their channels and uh, go and comment on the videos that they've given us. A lot of good information out there. Well, the hikers on the trail so far, James Bilgner, he is approaching the top of Georgia. He indicated he's going slow uh, to recoup a new in knee injury, but he is starting to speed up, and so... Uh, He's going to hit top of Georgia uh, probably today, if not today, tomorrow. Jay Hiker is somewhere in the Smokies. Uh, last report we had from him came in on the 3rd, and he was coming into Fontana. So by now, he should be somewhere in the Smokies. And as you get in the Smokies, the, uh, because they're so remote, cell signal gets uh, less and less. So we don't get too many updates unless they take a zero when they get the newfound gap and they go into Gatlinburg. Um, wrong Way uh, is in Hot Springs at Laughing Heart Hostel, uh, and his diet there consisted of beer, barbecue, chocolate milk, and donuts. So between that diet, catching uh, a ride in a Tesla, and being uh, singing karaoke, you can tell that Wrong Way is really hating the trail. So uh, he's having the time of his life and I'm enjoying watching wrong way so you just keep it up and you make the most out of it and that's what we all should do not only is not only just through hikers but section hikers but just in general in life Mimi Wonders is a flip-flopper she's somewhere around Harper's Ferry I'm not sure but she's she's so far done uh, 55 miles correction 51 miles on the trail James Hikes is at Neil Gap he's shooting for 12 miles today maybe a little shorter but he's probably going to come back and stay at the cabin again at Neil's Gap and then catch a ride back up to wherever he ended his hike then and keep on going 
uh, down to and winding up at Dix Creek Gap uh, in a couple days. Eagle Scout PB has not posted yet, but he starts today. And uh, the unquestionable Artemis, she starts tomorrow. Unfortunately, and it always happens, we had a few people that are off the trail due to various reasons. Otzi Hiker, you remember he was with uh, Wrong Way and he had an injury, had to go in Knoxville, and he is going to be rehabilitating his D and hopes to be back on the trail March 1st. Patches AT 2019 has had to put his off his trail off, uh, trail journey off till 2020. Uh, ten man hiking is going to have to also delay for a year due to some issues beyond his control. So guys, we're sorry to hear that, but don't you worry about it. The trail will be there when you get ready. Hiker starting this week are three mile. He starts February 16th, and he's going to be tracking with the Fresh Ground Cafe. You remember that a uh, couple videos back, I talked about Fresh Ground and fresh ground kind of picks somebody to be his engine and so this year is going to be three mile they struck up a, a really good relationship last year and uh, three mile actually helped him uh subbed i believe during easter for him and ran the cafe for him while he went home to be with his family on easter and so uh he's going to be three miles going to be his engine and uh as you recall before uh fresh ground's kind of doing a little different instead of uh Going somewhere and setting up for a few days to a week, he's going to be moving about every day. Um, so uh, three mile will be starting that February 16th. Bear Bags had Nobo February 16th. Jerry Harkins, also known as J3, is Nobo February 13th. Jersey Redneck Adventures is heading Nobo February 13th. So maybe you two guys can meet up. Uh, pork Chop and Applesauce, February 15th. Me and AT is Nobo February 15th. Radiant Joy is Nobo the third week in February. Stalling Bear Through Hiking Adventures is February 18th. X3 Airy is February 15th. A lot of people going on the 13th and the 15th. Halo is February 18th, and Halo doesn't have a channel, but they do have a trail journal. Um, H. Fernandez is February 18th, and again, the Artemis is going to Mars. So we look forward to following all of y'all and seeing uh, how things go and looking at you posting your videos and getting back to us as uh, soon as you can. All right, so a couple cool happenings that we've had on the channel this week. Uh, we have got a new collaboration. You'll, you'll remember that we've been collaborating with uh, Swat Sullivan over at hikerfocus.com. Uh, great website there for keeping up with, uh, uh, with uh, through hikers. But also we've got a new collaboration with Adam over at bigbluemountain.com. That's bigbluemtn. Dot com and what they've got is absolutely awesome it's something i've thought about doing but a didn't have the time and b don't have the technical skills to do it and what they've got is a map of the trail that shows where a hiker is at any given time so uh you know a hiker has given them permission to post their position on the trail you can go there click on that hiker symbol and you can see where that hiker is now that's based off, uh, you know, the comments that the hiker makes as far as letting us know where they are. So uh, it's my understanding that's not automatic. That has to be uh, changed manually. But that is really cool to be able to look at that. And uh, before long, that whole page is just going to be covered in hikers. And uh, as you'll notice right now that most of them are down in the southern section, but a couple months, they'll be spread out everywhere. Hiker, uh, and you would like to be included in that. You'd like your position known then please leave a comment in the section below and we'll make sure between Adam and I that you get uh, updated on there and that people can be able to track you that way. Uh, if you don't, we completely understand that. Some people are not comfortable with that and that's cool too. But if you are, let us know and, and, uh, and, and if uh, you'd like for, for Adam to maybe keep up with you but, but not post it the actual position where you are, uh, maybe kind of the general vicinity, then we can do that too. But as you click on that map, you can click on the hiker and see who you're looking at, and it also has all of the shelters on there. So you can go and get a lot of information about those shelters. So, Adam, that's a great uh, website you've put together there. I'll leave a link for that down in the description. They also have a Facebook community group, and that's called Big Blue Community Group. So go on over there to that and ask to be allowed to be a part of that Big Blue Community Group, and uh, we can start uh, posting there and uh, continue to build the community. It's just uh, another arm, another outreach of the hiker community. Well, the vote on the logo is in. I appreciate everybody commenting and letting me know what they felt. That's the logo that Artemis made for me, and the winner is...
Yep, that's right, the one with the mountains. So Artemis, thank you for that. Thank you for everybody that have uh, chimed in on that. Uh, I appreciate that's a great logo and uh, looking forward to using that uh, in my vlogs and blogs. And lastly, I just want to let you know that uh, something that uh, I'm excited about is that Miss Ramdino and I have decided that we're going to be going to the hiker kickoff in Amicalola Falls, which is, which is the weekend of March 1st. So we're looking forward to going there and, and just uh, meeting folks, meeting through hikers that are starting, just meeting people in general that are part of the hiker community. Uh, you can go to the Amicalola Falls State Park website and you'll see that there'll be a kickoff section there. I'll leave a link in the description for that. Uh, but there'll be a lot of uh, classes you can go to, uh, and uh, so I'm excited about that. Don't know where we're going to stay yet, um, so if anybody has any suggestions, I'd love to hear from you, uh, Oh, but we're just winging it for the time being right now. We might just show up and find us a place, and that could be uh, somewhere in the campsites or could be somewhere in a hostel. Not real sure yet, but looking forward to it. Well, folks, that is it for this weekend. Appreciate you staying here to the end and everything. And as always, appreciate you, and we'll see you out there. <laughs>